Christmas Eve 2015 marks the 50th anniversary of the biggest meteorite seen to fall here in the UK, the Barwell meteorite. So Sasha, why do scientists find this specimen interesting? What's really interesting is that in the 1980s, scientists at the museum cut it open and exposed this strange looking pebble here. So what's the significance of this pebble? Scientists discovered that it actually came from a completely different asteroid to the rest of the material around it. What's really odd is that it came from the kind of body that we previously thought could only have formed after the one that formed the main meteorite. Okay, so if we think that this pebble came from something that formed after the surrounding rock, how has it been found inside? Well, exactly, that's the question we needed to answer. For it to be incorporated into this rock, it must have formed either around the same time or even earlier than the rest of the material. Now, before they found pebbles like this one here, we thought there was a very straightforward linear way to understanding how material in the solar system came together. There were small grains forming in free space. They then came together to make larger asteroids, which in turn coalesced, melted and made planet-like bodies. Now, in order for material from a planet-like body to be found inside a primitive meteorite, we really had to change our ideas of what was happening when in the early solar system. OK, so what are we doing now to try and understand what was happening in the early solar system? Well, fortunately, we've got new techniques, like the micro CT scanner here at the museum, which allow us to cut the sample up virtually and give us sort of a, a new light on old specimens. And that's what I'm trying to do with my research at the moment. 